fans, what's going on? Happy Victory Monday for all y'all, man. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Detroit Lions go on the road and beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. 32, no, 34-16. Okay, uh, let's get into it, man. First things first, biggest big guy that I got to call it out, man. DeAndre Swift, 14 carries, 116 yards, one big run for 54 yards and two touchdowns. Ad averaging what I believe would be about, what, six yards per carry? Oh, my goodness. Man, uh, what a game. What a game. That, that I mean, when I saw him make that big break run, I was screaming from the top of my lungs. I was going, go, 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 go. And he got called from behind. You know, it, it looked just like how he did in college. You know what I'm saying? He always, I don't know one thing about that run that he does. He had to get away, had none but open space. But it seems like he stops like something is, I don't know. I, he always seems like his vision gets funny when he gets down there. But, hey, I'm not complaining, though, man. Uh, you know, I'll just be uh, unnecessary right there for a minute. But it was so good, man, to see that young man get that kind of touches. And, uh, when he went 20 carries, and he got 116. So, it, you know, it's what you want to see, man. I don't know. The run designs were so good yesterday, man. I couldn't believe it. It was one of the best performances run blocking. You know what I'm saying? And they've been really decent on the offensive line for run blocking this year. Much better than they have in years. And to me, yesterday, you know they were going against an injured up Jacksonville Jaguars team. In all fairness, they did have a lot of injuries. Uh, we got our injuries too. Uh, but, you know, specifically on the offensive line, I think Big V went out for a minute. I think Crosby was shaking up for a minute too. And we still managed to play beyond that. That was good to see. Uh, right now almost didn't play at all yesterday uh, due to the injury he had. So hopefully he can continue to heal uh, and get better. But, uh, it was, I mean, look, Ben V at right guard, it started off slow. But it seemed like that was a good game for them to get rid of him because he came back and still was playing good. And I'm like, okay. Uh, and I've seen our line at, at full strength in the past. And we would go against an injured defense that we thought we would have a good game against and get destroyed. So, I'm not going to discredit our old line for nothing uh, on that end. You know what I mean? Uh, Stafford had one of his better games, I should say, of the year and during that game. And, you know, the offense looked a lot more crisp. Now, in all fairness, again, they were injured up defense. So, you have to kind of take that with a grain of salt. I'm trying. I'm not trying to crap on the lines, but I'm not trying to crap on the drag with Jaguars either. So, uh, with that being said, it was good to see carry on to get his uh, motions in, man. And get some good runs in. Adrian Peterson gave a lot of tough yardage. Hell, even Matthew Stafford going out there showing wheels. A lot of quarterbacks yesterday, by the way, y'all. A lot of quarterbacks yesterday was taking off runs. Lamar was a man on a mission yesterday. Cam Newton had some yesterday. Uh, oh, the best one I think i seen, though. I know people love Lamar Jackson. I know people love Cam Newton. But to me, I got to store a shout-out run to Matthew Stafford and Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones was a man on a mission yesterday for the Giants. When I seen he faked that run off so good, I thought the running back had the ball. I seen them downfield. I said, whoa. <laughs> I said, okay, Daniel. I don't know why Daniel Jones is growing on me for some reason. I don't know why, but he is. Uh, he's still young in all fairness. But anyway, back to the Lions, man. Uh, you know, the Lions go out there, took care of business. Galladay got some time to eat, man. Like, four catches, 100 some yards, time to pay that man. Uh, Hawkinson, uh, for the most part, had a respect. He had a good game. He had a touchdown and some catches. Had one he kind of dropped, uh, kind of 50 50 on that one. Probably, I think it looked like it was more towards his hand, but I mean, it's water on the bridge. The offense. It, to me, I saw some inconsistent play calls yesterday, uh, but I'm not going to kill him for it because, you know, at the end of the day, we still won the game. And more importantly, offensively, when it came to the second half, which I did miss that second half of the game, but I did follow. I was following the game on the radio and via, you know, uh, uh, Internet and stuff. But they still came out and they didn't shy away from what was working. That's the part I took uh, took credit for, uh, not credit, but what I took notice of, man, from both sides of the ball. They came out there and stuck to what was working. They didn't come out there trying to reinvent the wheel. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, hopefully, this is a good game to get them in rhythm now. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to see. I, I'd rather see the Lions go out there and win than us lose and fire Patricia. I want Patricia go, but I'd rather see them win more. You know, it's, it's just the way it is. You, you, nobody truly wants to see your team lose. Just to get rid of a guy. If you go get rid of a guy, 
You know what I'm saying? Do it like Tennessee did a few years ago before they hired Mike Vrabel. You know what I'm saying? They they won a playoff game. They won. They were second in the division, but they won a playoff game, beat the Chiefs, and they fired the head coach the next day and hired Mike Vrabel. You know what I'm saying? So it don't don't mean you can't fire him. Just you know, it has to be on how you feel the direction of the team is going. And depending on how they play, you know what I'm saying? And they took a chance. And now I look at the Tennessee Titans now, man. They had a Derrick Henry and, oh, my God, had a hell of a game. So, you know, but the defense, real quick, I want to talk about the defense. Lions defense as a whole unit had they won, if not the best game of the season so far. I know three interceptions the other week or two interceptions against the Cardinals or something like that. It was at least two or three, but. To me, this game was a little bit more. Uh, why? Because they brought pressure. It wasn't here and there. They was actually bringing consistent pressure. Uh, more movement by the linebackers. Uh, the secondary fought. You know, it was what you want to see. They, they forced turnovers. They, you know what I'm saying? They, they took advantage of opportunities. You know, they didn't the offense to capitalize. It's what you want to see. A textbook football game from a team with the kind of talent that they have on both sides of the ball. You want to see that, man. You want to see that uh, good job getting pressure on the quarterback and blitzing is what I've been wanting to see, man. You know, and, and I credit uh, Garden Minshew too, though, man. He was still getting away from a, good, a couple should have been sacks and getting the ball off. He took a few hits too, but you know he showed some poise. He showed he was tough. Uh, again, he's a, a why I don't give him over much credit on the pressure because he is still a young quarterback, just like Kyler Murray is, and it was kind of the same thing that we kind of did to him. We had him a little bit flustered. And he kept trying to test us, but they just didn't couldn't dial up an answer good enough, you know. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and again, uh, shout out to the Jacksonville Jaguars, man. Uh, they lost a lot over the years, and then they got a lot of these injuries. So it, they kind of in the rebuilding process. So we'll see what happens with them. But they still fought and hung in there, man. So you going you gotta give them a shout out, like you know. Uh, but the Lions, it was a good victory for them though, because you wanted to see. If they can do the right things, consistency. The Lions could have easily lost this game if they shot away from what was working. Easily. Because you know the Lions had the tendency to do that. The whole, they held the running back. That was another thing. They held their top running back down 50, below 50 yards. After he'd been averaging 100, well, well over 100 yards or so, I think, per game, if I'm correct. To hold him down, he came into the game with 127 and was held to like under 30. Or under fifty or something. So that's that's crazy, man. That's that's good. If we can get that kind of consistent production from both sides of the ball, Lions should have no problem winning games. But the real test to me, I don't want to say the real test, but I know I consider a good test to measure if they really turn, turn things around. Oh my God, is if they can go into Atlanta and beat them next week. And I know that sounds crazy because Atlanta just not winning the game against our division rival, rival thankfully. But Atlanta is still a tough team, first of all, offensively and defensively they have improved. The problem with Atlanta is the same thing that was with us, coaching. And I don't know, maybe yesterday kind of opened their eyes a little bit to give them some confidence. Maybe they'll come in a little bit harder this time because with the talent they got on offense long, man, they should have been, they should, their record should be flipped the other way around. Let's just keep it real. Uh, they shouldn't have lost to the Bears. <laughs> no way in hell they should have lost to the Bears, man. I don't understand. I'm still mad on that one. But, you know, it's it, the line is a, a much more streak. Uh, sh- they streaky. They weird. They still got the ways. That's why they record the way they is. I'm not trying to overhype them or overpower, uh, make them sound overpowered. But they have much better matchup to really scale us if we actually are making improvements. I think they are. I think that's a fair statement. Uh, but more than anything, it's about time for the Lions to prove they can go out there and win some divisional games because we haven't won a divisional game since 2018, and that is uh, that's nerve wracking. That is nerve wracking. So uh, until we can clean these things up and start getting consistent, you know what I'm saying? That be remains to be seen. But for now, Matt Patricia is forced to fight for his job until he proves us otherwise. Because right now he's still on the chopping block. He can still go. You know what I'm saying? It's good to take advantage of a team down on their luck, but you got a lot more to prove than beating them. I'm not sold yet with this victory whatsoever. Uh, some of the players on defense could have uh, made some better tackles. July and Tavai. Uh Tracy Walker, to me, at times felt in and out. July and Tavai, I wanted to kind of punch him a couple times, man. It, it, it was a, separately. Some of the players separately was kind of pissing me off on the defense, but as a whole unit, they were 
they release a good B plus. You know what I'm saying? Almost A minus. I ain't gonna give them an A yet. That was that's too high. But a good B plus, I think, was fair grade for them yesterday. On offense, I said A minus. Uh, to me, you left some points off the field. Not the missed field goal because I feel like the win did knock that one off. So I'm not gonna kill them for that. But the play call is leading us to the field goal. I felt uh, when we were at 14 three. I kind of felt they could have did better play call on that second and 20 and then maybe try to take a uh, check down strike or a shotgun or something like that on the third or whatever it would have been. But instead they went with the screen pass on third and 20 and completely wasted the second and 20. I'm like, okay, well, I ain't going to kill it. And, you know, well, like I said, man, we, 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 we won the game. So we put up over 34, we put up 34 points. So, you know, hey. Not more than we can ask for. That's what we've been hoping. We we knew we had the potential to score that. So good to take, take opportunity when it came. So that's all I can say, man. Uh, Lions win. We'll see what happens next. Tell me how you feel about last night's game. Uh, about anything else, be respectful in the comment section. As I always say, man. And it's your boy, Nomas J. I'm in that and in and out the building. And peace and love to y'all, man. Later.